September 19, 2022, one day and nine hours after 90 development clips of GTA 6 got leaked, this was posted. A message from Rockstar, where all the leaked clips were proven to be right and not to be another fake. With the post being the most liked gaming tweet ever, without even announcing the game, set a historical moment in the gaming world, and the biggest leak that Rockstar ever suffered. A secretive company such as Rockstar having their work leaked was unusual, to say the least. The world was shocked at what just happened, and so were the employees. <laughs> Kurdai, the guy who decided to hack Rockstar Games and leak all the footage he could find, and eventually published them through the GTA forums under the name Teapot Uber Hacker. At the time of the incident, Aryan was just 17. It only took a 17-year-old to get into the systems of Rockstar, and that wasn't the craziest part. Aryan was put on bail for previous hacks when he decided it was time to hack Rockstar. With only needing a smart TV device connected to his hotel room, a keyboard, a mouse, and a smartphone. This allowed him to infiltrate the Slack chats of numerous Rockstar employees by pretending he's one of them, to then announce he was not just an employee, but an attacker. By now, it was too late. All 90 clips had been released, and Aryan even claimed to have downloaded all of GTA 6's data, stating that he'd released a source code unless Rockstar contacted him. It's uncertain if Rockstar ever contacted him or that he even at all owned the source code, as nothing more has been heard or seen. Aryan Kurdai was part of the Lapsus group, who formerly hacked other companies before Rockstar became their target. In the end, Aryan's whole identity was leaked by his former hack acquaintances and was arrested by the London police. And now, a year later, he was found guilty of his crimes. The impact that he would leave was immense. While he, Aryan himself, was even surprised that it went immediately viral and just decided to go back to sleep. This leak gave us the first look into what GTA 6 will look like. For the first time ever in the GTA series, a female protagonist named Lucia, alongside a male protagonist, Jason. While some are mad and disappointed at Rockstar for a female lead because they don't see this fitting for a GTA game, it has always been a vision that Dan Hauser had, who was the former vice president of Rockstar and the VP of Creativity. In a 2013 interview with The Guardian, he was asked if there could be a female lead in the future, on which he replied, Of course, we just haven't found the right game for it yet, but it's one of the things that we always think about. It didn't feel natural for GTA 5, but definitely for the right game in the future with the right themes. It could be fantastic. And now, GTA 6 seems to be the game for it. Nonetheless, it's going to be interesting what Rockstar will do with the story and the duo protagonist. In a report, journalist Jason Schreier said that the story will be seemingly inspired by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde, and all that in Vice City, the only universe that didn't get an HD treatment, so it only made sense for GTA 6 to be set in the fictional state of Florida, Miami. The leaks showed many things about the game, like the ability to be prone and the special abilities of the main characters. One thing that stood out was the number of world events that could happen in the game. From the leaks, we could already see thousands of world events being mentioned. From a firework fight to finding the farm monster, or what you thought about some canal fishing. Speaking of fishing, the leaks also showed the wildlife in the game. As Florida has the Everglades, it's going to be no surprise we're going to see many new animals like the alligators. The police system being the most advanced ever, vehicles showing a working GPS dashboard and leaning out the car window are just one of the few cool features that you could spot. In most of the clips, you can see a lot of elements taken from Red Dead Redemption 2, like the interaction system. And not to forget how the unfinished game visuals already look like RDR2. It can only make you imagine how good the final game will look, which is not weird to have high expectations, considering the game production will cost $2 billion. 
This comes after Aryan Kurdai also sent a message during the leak. In the message he says that 2 billion has been spent. A very unlikely statement, but rather means the allocated budget for the game, which includes the marketing, post-production, and much more. Making it the most expensive entertainment product ever made in history. In perspective, Red Dead Redemption 2 reportedly cost $600 million to make, and GTA V, $265 million. But with these costs comes a lot of responsibilities and bad attention, whether you like it or not. Mega projects like these take a lot of workforce, with thousands of employees working day and night to make it happen. So did Dan Hauser, who was an important figure in the GTA series, who left the company back in 2019, with one of the reasons having to do with the insane deadlines employees had to deliver during the development of Red Dead Redemption 2. After this, Rockstar made changes to its company to prevent this crunch culture from happening ever again. So did Rockstar spend the last years changing its culture to become a more kinder and progressive company, move away from the crunch, narrow the gender pay gap, and trying not to punch down on marginalized groups in contrast to previous games? Jennifer Colby, who now is the vice president, also responded to these complaints. She outlined how processes at Rockstar had been changed, flexible schedules were introduced, and some toxic employees, including managers, had been fired and replaced. Like the design director who was fired as he was accused by several employees of bullying and verbal abuse. In the last few years, most of the Red Dead online designers also left the company or moved to GTA 6 which explains why Red Dead Online is in the state it is today. Jamie King, who was a co-founder, also revealed in an interview that Rockstar was built on a culture of seven-day work weeks and that this is not sustainable as it took a toll on the lives of employees and mental health. Jamie King later left the company in 2009, not knowing Rockstar would be the company it is today. One employee described the change in Rockstar as a boys club transformed into a real company. Whilst these generally sound like good changes, some people have their doubts, as they wonder how GTA can still be GTA if it isn't a real parody of modern America, but a more toned-down version. By comparing it to the recent Saints Row game, which didn't fall in good hands because it moved away from what fans wanted and eventually closed its studio down. Rockstar workers have been also left wondering, trying to figure out how to make games in this new era of Rockstar, and wonder even what a Grand Theft Auto game looks like in today's environment. Besides, several employees pointed out that you can't really satirize today's America. It's already a satire of itself. It is not unusual for there to be a crunch culture and tight deadlines in this industry especially on projects as big as GTA, where thousands of people work and rely on, with millions of fans eagerly waiting for any information. To the point that most will believe anything that's put out there, like how some thought this was going to be Jason, or that GTA 6 would cost a staggering $150 at launch. The pressure on Rockstar is quite a lot, to say the least. While they just try to stay dead silent, if they fail to deliver on players' expectations, it would be safe to say it's done for Rockstar's reputation. In a rare interview, the president of Rockstar Games, Sam Hauser, said the fans want bigger, better, and higher quality. It's a privilege to have an audience that is demanding like that, but it's also a challenge. You have to meet their expectations. I go to bed at night with the game there. I wake up, and that's the first thing I see. Even Strauss Zelnick said that giving players what they want is not enough. The game needs to deliver beyond that. It needs to be something you've never seen before, on the one hand. Now, Rockstar's answer is just seek perfection. Seek nothing short of perfection, and we'll get there. It's safe to say that GTA 6 got into development after RDR2, and that the game has been in the works for quite a while now. Not many other studios can afford to work on games for this long, mainly thanks to the success of GTA Online. Whilst we are still waiting on an official announcement or a release date, we've already gotten a good indication as to when it might be released. As Take-Two expects to earn $8 billion in net bookings between April 2024 and June 2025, 
This could only mean one thing that could give Take-Two such an amount of money, and that is a gigantic popular game like GTA 6 being released. Another indication is the recent departure of the vice president of writing Leaving Rockstar. After helping write the iconic game since 2007, this could mean the writing of GTA 6 is done and now going into his retirement. Or perhaps things aren't turning out as he wants, and this way leaving the company. GTA 6 will change the industry as it did with GTA 5. It will set new levels for other AAA games, normalize working decades on huge games, and will sadly limit Rockstar even more by only working on GTA-related projects and not really seeking different genres of games because GTA will always sell. Nonetheless, GTA 6 is going to be a game we've never seen before. Whether this means the insanely detailed work that Rockstar created for this new world or perhaps a GTA we didn't expect, the history will be made again when one day this pops up.